Debbie, Debbie, Debbie rocking her star She knows all the great fashion trending in town When it comes to town, that's not all She's very wise and intelligent, knows what she wants So subscribe Hello you guys, hope you're good uh, This is what happened when you literally worship your pastor And not worship God Or at the same time, when pastor kind of indoctrinates the church member Rather than educate them with the word of God like Jesus told us to. You're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Debbie. If you have been watching but you're still contemplating whether you should subscribe, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a video. I was just going through uh, the blog, you know, trying to do some research about the video I was gonna make this just caught my attention and I thought okay let me say something about it and you know when I saw it the title says member protest against pastor Kumui over the in introduction of unconventional music into deeper life church and when I looked at it I thought to myself okay unconventional music who are these unconventional musicians so i was thinking maybe it's davido maybe it's whiskey then i thought to myself i don't think i don't think kumuyi will ever invited such people to his church not that they are not christian themselves or they don't know god but obviously you know in nigeria it's all about religion it's not about spirituality with a lot of a lot of these people it's mostly about religion so when i saw it i thought okay let me read through it then it was really really long so however i'm not gonna read everything to you but i'm just gonna tell you what i get from all of this because this person started by you know prepping up their father calling oh dear father blah 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 you know the way it went on the adulations of pastor kumuyi and all of that you know it was a lot and they, it started with that and he mentioned something that actually jumped at me when I read the first paragraph. And this is this is the passage. I'm going to read that with that place for you. He says, Since you are a father in the Lord, whose role is it to train us? It is only natural for us to know at your to, to kneel at your feet and beg for advice anytime we have a troubling question. Sir. We humbly come to you at the moment because we have a troubling question, sir. Why are you introducing unconfessional music to Deeper Life Bible Church through the invitation of external musician? And when I see that, I'm thinking, no, oh, okay, external musician. And this person went ahead and mentioned those external musician and literally said that, uh, this external musician that you have invited to deeper life include Nathaniel Bassi, <laughs> Domuen, Colin McDowell, and Paul Baloch. Well, <laughs> as a father in the Lord, you ought to defend the introduction of unconventional music to deeper life because you did not raise us, your deeper life children, with such music. Do, do you get where I read to you? It did not raise them with such music. Instead, you raised us with the in book and the choir alone. See, I like this thing. Do you know why? I, I, that's why it caught my attention when I read the the um, the second slide, whereby this man mentioned all the musician that. They were not trained with. They were only trained with hymns and the choir, you know, singing the hymns to them. And this man is not in support of all these Domwen song, you know. I'm, I'm not sure she is even going to be in support of most of them because it's not him alone. I think he's just speaking on behalf. Because the letter went on. I'm going to try and, you know, be putting the excerpt. You can read it. It's, it's so long. A neighbor... That, that used to go to deeper life. I This woman, she was really sick and she refused to go to hospital simply because their daddy in the Lord has already told them that hospital is evil, hospital is bad. It's just like this mommy geo that is trending on social media. And before you know it, this mommy geo that says don't use perfume, don't wear high heel, don't wear clothes, don't wear that. I don't know. But I realize that this woman is just doing it for popularity. But with Pastor Kumui's situation, I don't know what it is, but I know then 
the members don't watch TV. They don't have TV in their house. They don't go to hospital. And this woman that I'm telling you, I've, I've talked about the story of this woman before. This woman lost her marriage simply because of that. Because to start with, her husband is not even a Christian. Her husband is a Muslim. And I think she was a born Muslim as well. But she became a Christian and the husband does not say, go, don't go to church. But she was overdoing everything to the extent that their only son got sick and this woman refused to take the child to the hospital. Even when they, because the husband doesn't work uh, in Ibadan that time with, with, the husband doesn't stay in Ibadan. The husband travel every weekend. Before the husband comes back home, the boy has been sick for like two, three days and this woman refused to take him to the hospital. The neighbor tried. But this woman said no. Unfortunately, she lost the child. Simply because their daddy in the Lord said, don't do this, don't do that. And now their daddy in the Lord is showing and televising, is preaching on television. So these people have been indoctrinated already. And now I like that they are calling out their daddy in the Lord simply because their daddy in the Lord is desisting from the teaching that they were accustomed to because that's the kind of teaching he was giving them that's the way he believes that he, he is because a lot of these people they kind of turn the bible they interpret it in their own way and to, to me they turn it upside down that's why i always tell people i'm not a very religious person but i'm very very spiritual and i have faith in god i have a personal relationship with god and i always encourage people to do the same but it is very hard for people to do especially when they have problems they think that oh nobody is hearing them but as soon as the pastor says it is done it is this it is that they believe do you think you cannot say that by yourself do you think you cannot speak to your to your god yourself so this member are literally holding their pastor you know the shepherd they are holding him to account because if they do the same he's going to hold them to account and they literally wrote the letter you guys because i see a lot of people saying that oh they are sheep they are this yeah they've been indoctrinated but now they want to hold the man that indoctrinated them responsible for bringing music. I don't get it. What is Don Mwen saying? Don Mwen is a Christian singer. So I don't understand all this uh, unconventional music. But that's the way they were indoctrinated to be. It's not about education and all of these people as well. Your daddy in the law said this. So if your daddy in the law said, go and jump into the world, you will go and jump simply because your daddy. Seriously, sometimes I always tell my husband that what is wrong with people? Why can't they think with their brain? Do they have to listen to everything that someone call themselves a man of God? Do they think they are man of evil that they cannot speak to God themselves? Can they not use their brain and think like, Literally, you will see some people that the pastor will tell them, go and eat grass and they'll be eating grass, you know, go and do this and they'll be doing it. You will see some taking off their clothes in front of the church. I've seen that in on, on video that one pastor in Ghana is passing for his church member naked in the church. What is that? Seriously, what is that? I don't get it sometimes, but people think, oh, they are sheep, they are sheep. No, it's, it's a bold step. Is a bold step. Maybe it's going to be an awakening for some of them that this man is literally doing what other pastors are doing. God forgive me. Literally, if you look at church these days, a lot of most, not all, most are businesses. Most of it are businesses and it's being treated like a business. But people going there, they are so far gone. They are so far gone because they are indoctrinated and it's so hard for them to come back from that. Anyway, you guys, I just want to bring this out there and tell you my own opinion, what I think about it. I know a lot of people think different, like, oh, you are calling out the pastor, blah, 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 this, 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 that. There, there is nothing wrong with Domwe music. There is nothing wrong with... Uh, uh, Nathaniel Bassi music. Nathaniel Bassi is a Christian, uh, is a gospel singer. But this is how these people see it. This is the people that has been indoctrinated that TV is bad, computer is bad, is a poti issue. So what do you want them to think? They've been indoctrinated for years. Now the pastor is changing course and they are not ready to change course with their pastor. That's the way I see it. I know you might see it different, but I would like to hear your own opinion in the comment section below. Let's 
continue the discussion there and i will see you in the next one if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell that is how you get notified whenever i upload post video or even start a live streaming and i will see you in the next one have a fabulous week bye so subscribe and get that juice with the one and only debbie Fashta. yeah yeah